Right lads, welcome back. I have been having an absolute nightmare with this van. Um, I started off doing a video the other day, fitting the accelerator cable and choke cable. No idea what I'm doing, um, so I don't know if I'll show you that because it's kind of an idiot, idiot's guide to someone actually fitting it. And then I went to fit the radiator, that went Pete Tong because now I'm changing back from the plastic fan to a metal fan. On the earlier minutes, they used to have a bigger spacer or a bigger pulley, whatever it was. So anyway, the rate, the the fan wasn't fitting inside the cowl close enough, um, and I wasn't comfortable with it. So gets it in, messing around with it, thinking why is it in the right place? It's just in the bracket at the bottom, messing around, messing around. Anyway, cut long story short, I needed this this spacer, so I've got an 11 mil spacer, which goes into the side of the water pump pulley. So hopefully this will work now. Um, so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get this spacer on, get the fan in, the bottom half of the radiator is already in situ uh, and then I've spoke with a couple of lads on WhatsApp as well and oh that was another thing I did as well is I, I tried putting the radiator in in full and obviously just doing the bracket up at the bottom where it mounts to the engine, engine kind of mount on the, on the radiator side and then there's no way on earth you're getting that two piece cowl past the metal fan in one piece unless you get a sledgehammer out, it's just, just not going to happen so yeah, so I had to take it back out and I took it to pieces and honestly I must have spent two hours messing around with it to then find out that that is why it won't fit. So I'm hoping today this will uh, this will all fit nicely. So, right, let's get this fan on. Let's get the water pump pulley spacer on. Uh, get the cowl in, get the radiator in, bottom holes in and hopefully finish this engine bay today because uh, it's dragging out a little bit now. And as soon as I've done this, I can start putting the interior and finish off the wiring. And then we're getting we're getting somewhere. We're making progress. So stick with me, guys, and I'll uh, I'll catch up with you once it is in. If it works this time, if it doesn't work, then you probably won't see this video anyway. So catch you in a minute. Right, okay, so I'll show you exactly what the problem was. So if you can see the end of this radiator cowl there, now the fan is inside of it. Without that 11 mil spacer, that fan essentially was 11 mil further out here. So yeah, I'm happy with that now. Um, belt's already in. I just need to slacken off that alternator to um, get that belt round it. So, right, metal fan in, let's get the radiator in, and hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get scratched. I hope it doesn't get scratched because this is like the fourth time it's been painted now. If it, do you know what, if it gets scratched, it's just going in, I don't care. Let's do it.
There we go, boys. The radiator's in, scratch free. I'm actually relieved this is in now because honestly, this radiator from day one has just been a nightmare. First of all, I couldn't run the traditional radiator shroud that I had with a metal fan, and I was like, well, I've not got it, we'll just use it. And I decided to take the radiator out, and obviously, I've decided to go down the route where I can get a two piece two piece fan to fit the fit the metal fan as well so it's all worth it it's all worth it even though it's been a massive headache it's definitely worth it um, because i think it just looks a lot better on the van in terms of engine bay now what needs doing there's not an awful lot i just need to get some new fuel line hose uh, clamps because the ones that i've got i think are either six or eight mil and i think i need 10 or eight or 10 mil i'm not 100 percent sure i've got two brake lines that need doing going from the brake master to the T-piece and then from the T-piece down to down to the subframe. I need to rivet this plate on as well, the sh chassis ID plate, get that on. And then in terms of the engine bay, like I say, that's completely finished. So now this is finished, I'm going to crack on with the inside. So I'm going to get the carpets in, I'm going to get the seats in and as much of the interior as I can as possible. I'm also going to do a video on this compact heater that I've bought as well, as I bought an aftermarket compact heater because the heat that was in the van was knackered. Um, it actually died on me on the way down to NAC Classic in Birmingham in November it was. And yeah, that was a cold drive because it was freezing. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have got any questions, as always, get in the comment section and I shall see you next Sunday when uh, we start tackling the interior of the van, getting the carpet in. And then depending on what I'm like for time, we'll see if we can get the seats in and stuff. Um, but until then guys, stay safe and uh, I'll catch you next time.